Chris, thank you. Well, four schoolboys are in hospital with burns after an accident in the New South Wales Hunter region of the night. Let's go live to Nine's Ailey Walsh. Ailey, just take us through what exactly happened. Davina, it really seems like this is a case of misadventure. It seems that these four boys were simply trying to have some innocent fun on a school night. All four boys live on the same street here in Narong. They're all roughly around the same age, between 11 and 13 years old. Now, what's happened is one of them was given a motorboat and they were playing with fuel from this small motorboat when an explosion has occurred. Now, 12-year-old Chris Chapwood, his father, spoke to media last night. Take a listen. Well, four, four mates they are, they, um, they just got given a, a remote control boat that has a little petrol engine in it and uh, they were playing with the fuel for that, it's some sort of nitro fuel, I'm not really sure to be honest with you and they, uh, they decided it was a good idea to tip a little bit of it out and light it, light it and apparently the trail led back to the bottle and the bottle exploded. Now that was Craig Chapwood you just heard from there. Now thankfully his son uh, has managed to escape relatively unscathed. He's back at home at the home behind us here and he seems to be doing pretty well. As for 12 year old Bailey Middleton who lives just down the road, we spoke to his uncle and also his grandfather just a short time ago. We understand that he's currently undergoing surgery as we go to air right now at Westmead Hospital. He sustained burns to 40% of his body so he'll be undergoing skin grafts over the coming days and also today. Now, as for the two other uh, boys involved, they're also, they're, they are actually also brothers, Kobe and Billy. Now, they too remain in hospital. Uh, we're still from the hospital as to a condition update on to, as to how they're doing there. But uh, Davina, today police and paramedics have issued a warning that even relatively innocent activities such as this one can be extremely dangerous and kids really need to be mindful of that. Yeah, terrible fright for those boys and their families. Ellie, thank you. Well, a